Welcome to Violin Adventures 112. Well, one of you commented that you really wanted to see some extra work getting done because of last week. So I think we did it. There's a lot that got done this week. First off, we start off with our logs. We didn't have a way to cut them, but I took the smallest log and cut it in my bandsaw. Here's a beautiful Monday morning, and what are we doing? We are going to get going on the smallest of these logs. So here we go. Right on schedule. Our blade just arrived in the mail, and we have here a wood slicer. One of you told me to get this wood slicer blade. So we're going to get that installed on our bandsaw and off we go. And just like that, we have our new blade on. I brought in the smallest of the logs and I just have a very small um, bandsaw. It's definitely too small for this kind of work, but it's what I have, so I'm figuring out how to use it. And hopefully this will be a nice pillar once it dries. But um, here we go. Let's see how this goes. First time for me. Okay, the blade is on. Now becomes, now it's time for an adventure. But just a small one. I'm going to try on the bandsaw and see if I can, the wood may be too wet. We'll just, this is an experiment to try this all out. That is gorgeous. This is exciting. The blade cut it like butter, so I had no trouble with that. I'm going to try another side. As long as I have this flat enough, maybe I can do another side. Well, there it is, you guys. I've got all four sides cut and they're fairly straight so they so that we have a beautiful piece of wood and of course I love wood so it's gonna look beautiful to me okay this came out so well and it's still too big for our pillar on a harp and it's so beautiful it is it is getting more beautiful probably because it's drying out. I need to get it outside, but this is gorgeous wood. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. What I'm going to do is cut off an inch on two of these sides. And um, thank you, Tim, for your help. I'm going to cut these off, and um, it'll still be plenty big for a pillar. That way we can get a couple planks out of this. Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's just freshly cut and that is a gorgeous piece of wood. Look at that. Um, so I know you guys, I know this bandsaw is like a toy and that's all I needed when I was buying my wood. But if I'm going to get fresh wood right out of the forest, I know I need a bigger bandsaw. I'm hoping maybe if I can get a thousand subscribers, then they'll start paying me for my videos and maybe I can get one then. But until then, I'll do what I can with what I have. So here we are, a beautiful piece of wood. Okay, here's our next plank of wood. Just cut off. Isn't that beautiful? Another beautiful piece. We've got four by four and a half. Okay, here's our first log. This is the smallest log and here's what we got out of it. These are one inch planks cut from the outer edge and here we now have a four a log here that we're hope to make into a pillar. Exciting! Our first lumber mill. Okay, then as we wait for our little sawmill to arrive, 
we have to get some other work done. Next, some work on our new violin. Okay, we'll try that again. I was talking to you guys and the camera was telling me that the battery wasn't working. And so here we go. I think we got a new battery in there and it should be good. So I'm going to take the mold, separate it from the sides because it is high time that we got the sides onto the back. scary trying to get this wreath off of the mold because sometimes we make a good fitting around the mold and then uh, it's scary because if you accidentally drop glue around there that can cause the thin edges to tear so thankfully there were no tears and now we need to strengthen this mold by getting the lining in We'll get this lining in and I'll probably speed it up here so that it's a little funner to watch. So what I'm doing right now while the side linings are gluing on, I'm going to prepare this back so that it will be ready. Um, so making sure that the blocks, the foundation for the blocks is the right size down here. For some reason the block is a lot smaller than my little platform. <laughs> so. I'm going to cut this out a little bit. Yeah, this back is really nice and alive. So the next thing I need to do is go around the edging. Hey y'all, this is in the middle of the week. This is Wednesday. And can you hear it? Instead of rain and instead of snow, we have teensy tiny little hail. I know it's not a big deal, but I think this is the first 
real hail that we've had here. You can see it on the steps. Tiny little balls. And it was so cold, the high is going to be 39. And so we have hail. So here's a peek at the viola. Okay, here's a good close look at this viola. It's a beautiful instrument. We see we have a crack here. And if you look at, take a look at this bridge, it is definitely an old bridge and the bridge has not been tuned carefully and cut correctly. So we're gonna replace that. It's old anyway, so old needs to be replaced. And then I am sure that this base bar probably um, needs a new one. Uh, after so many years, we need to replace that base bar. So I'm gonna give this one a little play, and then we will start in on getting it repaired. needs new life breathed into it so definitely a new base bar a new bridge and new strings so let's get started good thing that we uh, decided to do repairs on this viola there is a crack right up the middle seam right here um, and that usually is due to just age and the warmth of the chin. Okay, let the surgery begin. So we can see right off, here's the major crack in the middle seam here, and look at that base bar. No wonder why it didn't have any power. It's a very tiny base bar, so I am definitely going to take that out. And uh, let's find this crack may have just been a part of, nope. This crack is also open, but it's only open on the top, not all the way through. So we'll work on that. Okay, so glad we decided to open this up. And here's the inside. We always find little dust balls. And guess what the label says? that it's a Stradivari from 17, 1713. <laughs> but how do we know that this is a, not true? It says because it was made in Czechoslovakia. So you ask the question, did Stradivari live in Czechoslovakia? No. And you can see how young the wood is. This wood is probably from the mid-1900s. And then something arrives. Okay, we have a package that arrived in the mail. Let's open it up, and while I'm opening it, see if you can guess what it is. By the way, it's not very heavy. I would say, I don't know. 15 pounds, maybe. Uh, 
it says 16 pounds. So the label says 16 pounds. So I was close. Okay, did you all guess what this was? Well, you'll see in just a couple seconds or minutes. I'm going to speed this up and you'll see the finished result. Okay, it's all assembled ready to go outside and try cutting a log. So. Okay, here's our little mill. I think we can call this the smallest mill in the country. <laughs> After we got our blade in there and fastened down, we don't have a lot of room. But this is our first time, so we'll let you see how it goes little tiny male. Some more work on our new violin. Okay, it's time to get these clamps off and trim up our edges so that we can get it ready to attach to the back. Okay, we have our, our sides ready to install on the back. So first things first, we'll give our hide glue a chance to soak into the blocks. And we have our little dowels ready to go in here. Our little dowels hold it right where we want it. I'll bring you up close and turn up the speed. The David Vakol Beit Israel Mesahakim Lifne Hashem Bakol Atse Beroshim Uv Kinarot Uvi Nevalim. So this is saying, and David and all the house of Israel were rejoicing. The root here is Sahak, which means to laugh. But they were rejoicing before the Lord with all instruments of wood. Um, let's see. With all wood, and this would be fir, could be spruce or pine. So instruments of wood. And with the violins and the harps. Now the translation is the key nor is translated harp. But in modern Hebrew, this is violins violins and harps made out of wood. If you know where these are found, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you for sending in your favorite verses. Okay, this is Friday afternoon. Can you see the flakes falling? We've got a very light, unscheduled snow. Not sure you can see it, but I can't see it on the camera. Maybe it'll come out. But we've got a little snow falling, and right now, 
I'm waiting to use the world's smallest sawmill and I'm just waiting for uh, face shield to arrive today in the mail and then I can get started so here we are Friday afternoon we just have a couple few more hours left and we'll have to shut down so we'll see how it goes here we are in the shop and just taking a scan you see our middle table is empty because I was building the sawmill on that table and I just cleared it off and moved it outside Otherwise, here we have our new violin. And next, as you can see, we've got to start carving on the top. Over here is our viola. And the back looks pretty good here. And the top, we're going to close these two cracks and remove this little tiny base bar to give this thing some power. And over here is the scroll. We still got a ways to go, but it's sure looking better. I think the next thing we'll do is carve out the, the peg box. Okay, y'all, here we are, the world's smallest sawmill. And I'm so excited to use it, but it is just too late in the week our time is up we have to get going on to we have meetings tonight to go to so we'll have to save this for next week tune in and see the world's smallest sawmill in action here's our other pile that we did on the bandsaw and right here is the package I was waiting to arrive so that I could be safe. It's a safety helmet, a Forester's helmet. Stay tuned for the world's smallest sawmill. Right there. So I hope you'll come back next week to see how our little sawmill works out on our logs. I did miss you all last week and I'm glad to be back in the saddle. All of you who commented, thank you for commenting. Anyone that likes to comment, I'll be glad to answer you. And thank you for all your thumbs up and for listening to these episodes. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.